Welcome to another Aspire HQ Weekly. This week we've been working on the Jurgen, we've been polishing motorbikes and we've finished our T6.1 seats for our next VW camper build. Morning. Good morning. I'm called James and I'm going to annoy you all day to take some videos of you eating. I'm always eating. What do you have in there? Sausage and cheese back. And I've just finished off my chip butty. Cheesy chip butty. That's good. It's a Monday morning, Nico. I need something to get me going. Yeah. Chaya's meals, you know. How about you? What are you having? I had a hot dog. It's good. Chili dog. I've not actually had one before, so. Mm. Cool. They're not as good as the sausage bats. Mm. What's going on under there? Can't say. Currently taking the gearbox out of Owen's. Um, I don't know what he's calling it now. Is it a Jurgen? A Jurgen Airstream. Slash Armadillo. 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 Base stream. A bit of everything, I think. And how's it going? Uh, so far, so good. I don't want to drink to it. Good morning, Nico. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. George, what are you doing? Come on, looking busy is what I'm doing. I'm looking meant to be rebuilding the Jürgen. Yeah. Um, How's that going? Yeah, so far so good. Just trying to find all the, the bolts that have been taken off, thrown here, there and everywhere. I am just sewing together some headrests for the rib bed. So these headrests are absolutely massive and they take up quite a big part of the seat so the headrests slot into the back of the red bed so that it basically all fits together as one that means i need to make sure they're spot on so whilst jordan's downstairs and i get some peace and quiet and can think just sewing these in quickly yeah. they're going all right they're not going too bad and yeah. what um what do you call that for this is for our new build that we're getting in i believe it's going to be a t6 but correct me if i'm wrong um and it's got a lovely rib bed to go in with a leather and alcantara sort of combo um diamonds on the bolsters nice little strips of um uh, like a gold thread going through so it brings it all together with like this bronze sort of theme and then we're done matching with some bucket seats that are going to go in the front it's all going to look amazing sounds delightful it will look amazing what are you up to you're doing uh, the important job of maintaining our vehicles absolutely i uh I like to keep the van nice and clean. It's um, it's not only a walk-in billboard for, or a driving billboard for us, but it's my office, and I like to keep it nice and clean. I spend more time in here than I do at home. So yeah, how much time do you spend in that van on average? Oh, uh, time-wise, I'm not actually sure, but it's about 1,500 miles a week. So uh, yeah, it's a That's little a bit. Day. It's quite a bit. We have a big Harley Davidson. Yeah, and what's uh, quite what's going on? Quite severely scratched tank on it. Um, Show me. A lot of swirl marks, you can see. So, gonna give it a quick bit of a touch up and see what we can get out of it. Okay, can you talk me through the process? What are you gonna be doing? Yeah, so basically, first of all, we spray it with a alcohol-based panel prep to just remove any contamination to prevent further scratching. Give it a quick polish off with ultra finish high gloss. Okay. Um, hopefully remove some of the swell marks in it. So spray some Synergy Prep panel wiping cleanser, which is quite high concentrated alcohol. Yeah. So it just gets rid of the contamination, prevents further scratching and gets ready to be polished. Okay, and then you're now going to apply this. Now we're onto the polish. So, what I normally do is put four little splodges on it. Spread it around, sort of generally roughly. Then go up and down keeping the same speed, same pressure, and just repeat until 
until all the swear marks been removed basically. Until you're happy with it. Yeah, to, to finding the result you're looking for. Let's do it. So if you don't use your uh, tool properly, what uh, can happen? Um, so you can further increase the damage on it. Um, you can make a lot more scratches, a lot more swirl marks. Um, some cases, if there's too much heat applied to it, it can take paint off, depending on how much of an abrasion on the pad you're using. So it takes a real professional so, like you then, yeah? That far. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best. Some fast cutting power compound. So it's basically a more abrasive cutting compound to get some of the deep scratches out and then we can go back over it with a final cut. Awesome. Hey, how are we doing? Yeah, good. Where are you on? We're having a nightmare. We've just snapped an Allen key in the door hinge bolt. Yeah. So now we've got to work out how to get it out. Um, not as easy as you might think. Um, so yeah, we're going to take the doors off today, um, strip them down ready for new glass, new seals, new locks and mechanisms, and then we're going to cut the roof off here. Yeah. Because we got a bit of a, a, a ropey old gutter line on this one. Yeah. Um, Full strip on the inside then so we can get everything rewired, repainted, new steering boss, potentially power steering. Um, interiors already being designed and is underway. Um, so yeah, and then we'll get the, the new roof on, um, get her off for paint in a lovely dove blue, and um, then uh, it's on to interior fitting. Cool. So today we are hopefully going to be getting the uh, front cab, which is just behind you, um, a new roof welded on, as the other one's a bit rotten. Um, the Jordan's going to make a start on prepping the two front doors, ready for paint. Uh, they got fully stripped yesterday of all the windows, um, all the surrounds, the fixtures and fittings. Um, and today we're going to start prepping all the chassis uh, for the Raptor paint. Um, so that should be a good day. Nothing interesting happening, I'm sorry. Nothing interesting. Just, just that morning meeting. <laughs> what are you up to, Ross, today? Yeah, Myself and Ryan are going up to our East Coker site and we're going to continue with the prep of the new spray booth. Um, I'm cutting a hole in the roof to put the extraction out. Ryan's going to keep the. I'm, I'm doing all the heavy lifting. Yeah. I mean, as you can see between the pair of us, I'm more equipped for the big, heavy, you know, items. So. Yeah, yeah, I can see the gun. Yeah, I took my tash off and I lost my strength, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm also helping them, yeah. That looks very complicated. It's very interesting. So basically, I'm trying to create some patterns for the different builds that they're going to be using for the Badger Run. So they're all going to have different interiors. So I'm just making some patterns together. And this one is for Owens Jürgen, as I'm working on it at the minute. And I want it to be unique and different to what anyone else has. So I kind of uh, <laughs> made my own little stencil and got with it and just started designing some things. So I'm just going to cool. sew it all in and see what it looks like. Yeah. I'm not the best at getting spot on with my sewing patterns especially at nine o'clock on a Wednesday morning so this is gonna be really interesting how it comes out <laughs> so I've just been walking by our new kitchen that Brucey has installed for us here at Aspire HQ and I've just seen this a curious thing a drinks list so Ross apparently likes it coffee with two sweeteners but I see if Maya's on the list Maya you're not on this list how do you take it how do I take my coffee? Yes. Uh, well, do you have two? Do we need coffee, to add your sugars. Do you have hot drink? Oh, you are on that. So she's coffee, two sugars. Well done, Maya. I make sure I'm right near the top of the list. I don't like You're to right. be the very top because that first bit of water that comes out can be a bit lime scaly. So is this just basically just to save people asking? Yeah. That's very cool. I get there really annoyed. So Nico, we are currently cleaning up the bed of the Jurgen. Yeah. Ready to be painted. Ah, so that's a lot of uh, scraping the rust. A lot of scraping, wire brushing, sanding, um, potentially filling, and then paint. Yeah. Where are we? What are we doing? We're just scraping the last of the paint off of the walls of our spray booth that we got in. Um, once that's done, we're using a Seal it to seal all the gaps so that when the vacuum happens it's more effective than once once we've done the acrylic sealing we'll then paint it and then it'll be good to go hopefully. 
Very nice, very nice. Yes. How far off are you? Uh, well, we'll have the ceiling and the paint strip today, and then the booth will be ready for painting tomorrow and the floor painting as well. Cool. Filters all in and get the air compressor, all the hoses, the gas in. So hopefully next week we'll have a functioning booth. Cool. Hello James. Yeah, right, mate. How's, How's it things? going? I'm right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Good. What are you working on? Uh, so I'm working on this engine here. Yeah. Uh, I'm replacing the flywheel and clutch and the seals on it. And obviously engines go back in again afterwards. So. Mm. Yeah. How long is that going to take you? Uh, so once the parts arrive, I reckon I can do it in two and a half hours. Yeah. All in, yeah. It's, I don't know what the word is. In boring? Um, interesting is the word I'd use. You get to find out all the holes and figure out what, what we can do with them. The fresh product from the uh, Bristol Detailing. It is, but I'm just a mess. But yes, we have fresh product. All over the side. It's going all right, actually. I've just finished the last piece of the rib bed. Zipped it up. Looking good. It's looking good, Jamesy. It all fits, lovely and tight, and it sits in one piece. That's the main thing. It's all good. Done good. Hello. Here he is, the man hey, himself. Hey, look at that. Finally finished. Must come out really well, doesn't it? Yeah, it came out better than I thought. Only bit, if any snags, would be this bit here. Yeah. However, because we're working leather and it's really forgiving, I don't. I've tried to compare it on a bit. I'm um, happy to puff it up with some foam if you want, but no, I, think I think that's, that's great. When it sits there for yeah, a bit, it should. It's, it's like these headrests. So yeah. come and have a look at these beauties. So we've got the rib bed uh, headrest finish as well. Superb job. Lovely job. <laughs> So excellent, really, really happy with that, Maya. You've done a fantastic you. job. Do you know what so, I've noticed coming up here, Jim? What's that? The large collection over there. Oh, what? LucasAid bottles. Interesting. Who's that? Is that you? It's a mixture. This is, this is a two way street, me and right. Jordan. I need to pick me up, right? Sometimes just need to move on and get the motivation, and LucasAid does the job. So, we need LucasAid, right? Right. <laughs> excellent. Yeah, so um, anyone wants to sponsor with. Um, Thanks for joining us here at Aspire HQ. Please do join us next week. We've got some exciting stuff with the Badger Run. Please like, subscribe, and drop us a comment. We really hope you've enjoyed everything, Bungle.